Welcome, welcome hapa Science TV Politics Today. Hapa tunachapa siasa kama kawa, kama dawa. Si ndio? Yes, John. Yes. Yeah. Tuko na Nicholas. We are with Nicholas Oyo and our sign language interpreter is Anwarimu. But then Nicholas. Yes, John. I enjoy when Anwarimu interprets for us, don't you? Wow. Wonderful. Yeah. One of these days we need to interrogate and ask her where she stands politically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, Anwar Rimu is our political uh, interpreter in the show today. Tukona Nicholas. Nicholas, Secretary General, Free, Free Kenya. Kenya Movement. Yeah, yeah, Jonah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. how, how are things at Free Kenya? We are in court trying to push uh, the agenda court, you of guys. Uh, Article 37. In this country, if you don't get to court, you are not uh, pushing things. Uh, so we are pushing Article 37 to ensure that it is enforced the way it should be because yeah. a lot of Kenyans suffer from uh, Article 37 issues. Okay. Uh, all these things, maandamano na nini, zinatoka kwa Article 37. So we are in court. Uh, are in you winning any cases? By the way, you, you should won. hire Brian Wendo. <laughs> For, well, the record, yes. for the record, yes. I want to state that uh, I'm not a fake uh, <laughs> a journalist. I've no been lawyer. trained in, no, no, no. in journalism. I've been trained uh -huh. uh, from the School of Journalism. I can give you 300 people. Yes. Uh, however, the issue of Brand Mwenda uh, is, is a major Mwendua issue. Is Mwenda? Mwenda. Mwenda. Okay. Mwenda. Mwenda. Brand mm. Jagi Mwenda. Is Mwenda. Brand, uh, not Mwenda, Mwenda, Mwenda. It's Mwenda. It's Mwenda. Oh, yeah. Okay. Brand Jagi Mwenda is an issue that uh, we really need to look at uh, as a country because uh, you remember, Jonah, we've talked about the quality of uh, uh, the people that we, the, pro, the uh, professionals that we produce. Yes. Brand Mwenda, being a person who has not been, a, uh, is not a lawyer, mm -hmm. winning 26 out of 35 cases he has uh, done yes. is a major indictment to lawyers in this country. Yeah, Jonah, I'm um, in the business of, of pushing issues in uh, in in court, and mm -hmm. uh, we are even looking for lawyers, and we can't find them. If you don't have money, they don't want to work for you. Some people don't do law because they they, they don't work on the basis of uh, we want to do the right thing or something mm. like that. They look at the money, and uh, that for me looks to me like uh, uh, Brand Mwende is something that is uh, telling LSK as much as they are Was very he affordable. Angry, it seems. I am not sure about that. I need to confirm. Okay. But what I'm asking myself is, uh, for him to have won those cases, it means he's, uh, his motivation is different from the motivation of lawyers today. And yeah. we need to ask our questions in this country. Lawyers, where are you? He has been by this supported by Mike Sonko and uh, Francis, Atwoli. Francis Atwoli. Yes. Uh, really. And he, say, he has said that he's been in court, but, but LSK have really uh, come out very strongly to fight him. Yeah, uh, his lawyers in court uh, are saying, uh, he also has lawyers now, <laughs> are yeah. saying, uh, yes. Dance, Dance on, uh, uh, Omari. Dance on Omari, and yes. uh, who else? Uh, I think those ones. Eh? They yeah. are saying that uh, the is LSK... Is money by Theory? He, theory is, uh, is uh, Eric, uh, Theory is, uh, is uh, LSK chair, okay. president. Eh? Uh -huh. And basically they are saying that... Uh, uh, that he has no right to, they, they have the evidence and they want to take him all the way and make sure he's locked for a very long time. Uh, but uh, uh, the side of uh, defense are saying yeah. that uh, the LSK do not have the right to be uh, considered innocent in that issue because it is them who give those, uh, those, uh, those uh, certifications. Okay. And so it means that there is an indictment in their certification process. You don't punish the messenger punish the message so yeah. so it's really an issue that uh, is building up and it's telling us a lot of things jonah mm -hmm. we may have a lot of uh, people like brian uh, uh, in our public service uh, areas and we need to check John. yeah you remember the policeman what was his name there used to be a policeman. yeah waiganjo yeah uh, there used to be waiganjo so really this is not a something that's happening now this yeah. country we really need I, to I, ask ourselves I, about someone even whispered that there was a fake pilot <laughs> yeah we've heard those things <laughs> yeah and that one could do a lot of harm yeah it was uh, there was a, a an incident of fake pilot so jonah yeah. It's just that this issue of brand has become big because uh, people began to relate it to other things. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that uh, we need to look at our, our, our public service and ask ourselves if there is a lot of people who are, uh, for lack of a better word, quacks uh, working there. 
and then the question is eh, mm-hmm. are quacks doing better than the people who we actually give the jobs who that have been is trained? Now the that's issue. another issue here john it's amazing someone was ah, telling me shocking. about his car how yeah. it had disturbed him yeah. and he was taking it to these good uh, garages mm. then he decided to take it to some <laughs> some interior you know place mm. and the the the, the, the person mended the problem Jonah, it is a it is an indictment on uh, the professional uh, ethics in this country, the professional uh, delivery in this country. Yeah, uh, we cannot take Bran just as Bran. We need to take Bran as an as a message to Kenyans to ask ourselves. Yeah, do we really train professionals to come and work for us because they are trained as professionals, or mm. do we train them to find ways of uh, finding what you call by by bypasses within the system? Is it that mm. that's the issue that you are doing? Actually, I have a friend and in the hospitality industry and um, she mentioned to me uh, that um, she was hired as diploma and that her boss has a big problem hiring degree people. And she told me she can work in any five-star hotel in this country being diploma. I think from some of these technical um, universities we have are they polytechnics or what are they called yeah jonah there have been issues about that and yeah. uh, the question is that uh, uh, we need to ask uh, and this also goes as an indictment to the education sector yeah. we need to ask ourselves are we training the right professionals are we really training people to become professionals to do the work that professionals are supposed to do jonah mm-hmm. look at it this way uh we import uh, uh, Chinese to come and build our roads here, our yeah. streets, uh, mm-hmm. the super highway, uh, the expressway, and all those, uh, including the SGR, are done by the Chinese. Where are the Kenyan uh, engineers who have been training for all this time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I know. Pain goes to ODM fraternity when I say that because one of their own is an engineer. But but really, the question <laughs> must be that right, uh, right. we must ask ourselves: Where are these engineers? Where are they? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, ODM people watching, we need your <laughs> thumbs up, send your messages. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, um, you've mentioned China. Sin our Jin, president, Sin Jinping. Yeah, our president has been to China recently. Was Jonah, it yesterday? Yeah, John, our president was in China. Uh, uh, I will we, are, we are talking about the SGR moving from Naivasha to Malaba now. Yeah, John, there is an agreement that is pushing in China yeah. uh, about that uh, SGR. Right. Uh, the, the, the question that we must really ask ourselves, uh, this is a president who entered into office saying, Madeni, 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 Apana. The face of Deni for me is Chinese. So the moment I see him in China, I'm asking myself, what is he looking for? And I think he's even asking for a billion uh, okay. uh, USD. Uh, and I'm really afraid that... Uh, a billion? I think that's one of the... Not a billion, but... Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big figure. Uh, I need to confirm the figure. But, but he's asking for real money that is going to be huge. Uh, and yeah, it's going SGR to cost... Uh, definitely is an yeah, expensive It's going venture. to cost us uh, even more to go into, into debt. So the question is this, mm-hmm. did we really have a problem of debt? And if we have the problem of debt, mm-hmm. why are we not dealing with it the way it's supposed to be dealt with? Is this it is 10 trillion now? And it's counting, 10 trillion and, and counting. counting. Right. By the time they came in, it was 8 trillion. So this particular government has expanded by about 2 trillion, 1.52 trillion. But so 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 in one is, year yeah in this one year so it's give really, it uh, two times uh, five yeah it's really so amazing that be that, 15 uh, trillion by uh, the time they leave office. yeah it is really amazing no 20 uh, if you are uh, if you look at it from that p- perspective okay it's really amazing that uh, we are going to have this kind of scenario uh, that we talked about taxation in the elections and it was one of the promises they made and then when they get into it they are collecting a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, de- debt. We talked about debt in the in the elections, yeah. and then they come in and uh, they are pushing the debt uh, uh, index further. So, so really, the question that we must uh, ask, address ourselves to, Jonah, mm-hmm. what is the role of the people in this engagement? We must reach a point that the people must have a say. Jonah, the problem that we have is that, uh, for me, I've said it all the time, yeah. our weakest link is parliament. This question of 
debt, even for this one year, should have been a parliamentary issue. And it mm -hmm. should have been an issue that is uh, uh, conversed in parliament to a point that the president yeah. is asked questions. This government should be asked questions. The finance minister should answer questions. The financiers should answer questions. How mm -hmm. are we going on to put more debt? And yet, it is debt that is causing us to end up taking a lot of uh, money from uh, chunks of our money. Uh, people have even said that it has reached a point that Kenyans should decide to give the government their salary and keep the taxes now. We exchange because it looks like the government is looking for our salaries. So really, it is amazing that that is uh, po causing a problem in our taxation okay. uh, because of the debt. And uh, we hope that the president uh, should come back in this country and tell us exactly what is going on with the debt issue and what is this Chinese uh, agreement that he's having. How is Kenya doing, the Kenya shilling doing against the dollar now? Jonah, <laughs> jokes are going around that it's going to be 200. I think some social media thing has already panned out to go 200. It is 150 now, Jonah. The right. question of uh, the dollar is like this. We retain our funds through the dollar. Uh, it is the fiat uh, funds that we, that we use, uh, the fiat uh, um, currency that is used. Uh, and the question now is that if it goes higher, we lose our Kenya shillings. Okay, explain that a little bit. You're saying we, well, we, we, we keep money in dollars. Yeah, we keep money in dollars. We store our, our, currency, our money in dollars. And right. so it means that when it goes higher, when the dollar goes higher against the Kenya shilling, mm -hmm. we are losing more. And so by when, the way, le, let me ask you this. Okay, co continue, finish. We are losing more. But when it goes lower, we are gaining. So, Jonah, we should uh, work to reduce that so that we have more money to be able to uh, deal with our issues across the, uh, the world. If you want to buy anything, if you want to engage in other countries, if you want to pay are anything. There, are there countries that keep their reserves?